Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're installing the LRB Speed door panels with the Spinny Whoosh graphic. Graphic chosen by me again. This is Godzilla vs. King Kong, of course. Just noticing this now though, he actually flipped the image for me, which is really sick. So we're seeing basically mirror image. That's pretty cool. So if you guys saw the video of me putting this vinyl on the panels, it went on pretty easily. I can't believe how good the graphic actually turned out. I wanted to do something a little bit different than what normal people people normally do. They do a lot of the anime stuff, a lot of Dragon Ball Z, a lot of, you know, Japanese cherry blossoms and stuff like that. I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something unique. But still paying a little bit of tribute to the Japanese heritage of the Nissan, you know, the uh, Nissan family with Godzilla. Not saying that the little Z is Godzilla by any means. I mean, this is... Just a little old DE. We're not trying to compare it to a GTR or anything like that. Never actually removed these from a Z before. Um, but we got a little 7 millimeter, or sorry, 8 millimeter bolt down in the little handle there. Uh, maybe that's it. I don't, I don't know. But. We will just got to unplug these. And then three little bolts here. I assume this kind of holds to the door. Little, last little bit here is if we could take this little plastic cover off here behind the handle and there it exposes one bolt in there that's the last one holding the door panel on. I don't know if you can see it in there but it's actually a it's a bolt maybe 10 or 11 millimeters but it's a Phillips head so We got the inside of the door uh, exposed. Top one is the door handle itself. Bottom one is for the lock. Um, I'm wondering if I should have done the speaker hole or not. I don't know. Anyway. Just kind of looking around, see what we got. So I'll just be looking at these things. We got to remove a couple of screws uh, that we're not going to use again. And we have our package of hardware with some brackets. There's other videos, so I may not go through this step by step, but just kind of want to show you guys a little bit of the process. Got the screws out that they said to get out. I think there's about five of them or so. We don't reuse them. Uh, one down here, one over here in the corner, a couple up top. Uh, and then there's supposed to be one over here, uh, but it looks like my factory speaker was swapped out. I don't know. This is Sony, I don't, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely different than that. So my speaker holes are not, go you can see it was originally, there was originally a bezel of some kind or something around in this area. But anyway, uh, I might have to close those speaker holes up on the panels with, with some mesh or something just to kind of make them look cool. straighten all these little tabs out because this is going to get pushed through the new 
panel. And just make sure you go along the underside and fold all of them back over again. You can see them all folded over, but secured firmly in place now. These panels are really cool, but the instructions are really wordy and, and pretty, aren't the best. They're poorly written, okay? They're poorly written, I'm gonna say that. They could be rewritten to be very concise, and they could have some de decent pictures along with it. Um, you know, looking at only partial pictures could be a struggle. A lot of this is just sort of um, reading, and then rereading, and then rereading again, and trying to sort the uh, hardware out and get everything to fit. So I could say if there was going to be any improvement, I mean, the, the, the piece itself is super high quality. I mean, it, it's very, very precise uh, and it, it looks good and it's nice and clean and it's well made, but the instructions are, the instructions are weak. Oh, now it's cool. I'm not gonna say the F word that ends in Y, so. <laughs> So we got them installed. With my previous comments in mind, uh, I will say that the second panel went very, very smoothly. No need to even look at the direction of doing the second panel. It just, you know, once you do it, it's it's simple. Uh, you remember the process. Uh, like I said, the directions are just a little bit wordy and a little bit tough to follow. Uh, just if you're trying to skim them, I think if they broke it up a little bit in line by line, it, it might be a little simpler. But you know, if you get the hardware all sorted out and uh, you just kind of read over them a couple of times, uh, you'll get it. And then that second panel is super, super simple. Oh my God, they look so sick. On the passenger door handle, I actually chose not to do the pull strap, which would normally go sort of, I can't even feel the hole now, but oh, right here in this region. And 
it's probably too dark. You can see it on the lower, lower part of the panel there. I just don't like it. I don't like how it looks and I don't think it's necessary. You can pull that little strap there to get the door swinging. These doors are heavy enough. Everybody knows if you have a 350Z, they, they, they want to close anyway. So that's not a problem. The only other thing that I would suggest, um, not that they're watching, but the cable for these runs right down here anyway. And the door handles usually in sort of in this vicinity. I would put these controllers right here, really low near the speaker. This car is so small, you can reach it from the seat anyway, right down here if you ever wanted to. And it's out of the way, and you wouldn't see it. That would allow this panel to all be clear for a graphic, which would really, really, really be sick. And right now, it's right in the middle of my Godzilla. So that'd be my one suggestion. Move the controls forward and down. Uh, but I like the bezel. I think a bezel on the back side to hold those in would be good too. Uh, they do sort of clip in, but they don't clip in super tight. So if you were to hit them hard or bump them getting out of the car, they might actually push back. I used uh, some tape on those on the driver's side, and then I got smart and used a hot glue gun and glued the corners in on the back side. So those, that shouldn't push through, but it potentially could just because it's not that... It's not that, uh, you know, it, they don't clip in, they just kind of pop in. Um, so if there was a bezel on the backside to hold them in for a little additional support, I think that would be huge too. But man, Spinning Whoosh killed it on the graphics. Appreciate that. Fast work, a lot of, you know, great communication going back and forth on what I wanted and uh, keeping you updated on the progress of the order. And then LRB speed with the door panels themselves. I mean, they're made really well. I love being able to use this, the sort of the window sweep. I don't know what you even call it, um, but they just, they fit nice. Uh, minimal hardware in terms of mounting, you know, just a couple on the bottom and one on the side with the spacer. Just good quality stuff overall. I don't know. I don't think weight savings actually is all that much compared to the factory door panels. I mean, these are, they're just plastic and a little bit of vinyl. What do they weigh? Maybe like five pounds or something? Less than that. So the aluminum panels, maybe you save a pound. I, I don't know. You, maybe not. Maybe not even that. So um, it just looks cool. I like being able to other graphics. I like making the car, you know, giving the car some personal touches and doing something a little bit crazy like this with some cool colors. And you know, I think it's going to be a good. good addition to the car. Installation, again. First one might be a little rough. Second one, simple. You won't even hardly have to think about it. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. I'll try to help you as best I possibly can. Uh, any supplemental information I can give you for, in addition to what you have in the directions, I'll, I'll do my very best. But I think you can handle it. Some basic tools, a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and you'll get it. Thank you guys very much for watching. More stuff coming for the Z. I, I, Truly, more stuff coming for the Z. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. More stuff coming for the Q50 as well. So I hope you guys will subscribe, hit the like button, follow along. I appreciate the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.